Hey guys, how you doing? It's Andy Elliott. Today I'm going to go over selling consequences. Listen, no one trains over this. And when I say this, closing, negotiations, overcoming objections, all of those things are how salesmen think. That's how we elevate our game and go to the next level. Let me tell you this. Yes, that's right. But also advanced selling is selling consequences. Most people don't understand what selling consequences is. This is what it is. It's leveraging pain and pleasure. But also, when I go into this, and as I guide you through this just pure diagram, this is going to be a two-part series. There's no way we can crush this out. So this is going to be a two-series. We're going to have Selling Consequences Part 1, and then I'm going to follow with another video that's going to be Part 2, so you guys can kind of spread it out. But before this video ends, you're going to get the four questions that every one of your customers is asking themselves in their head that if they get a yes to all four of these questions, they will buy. You could literally sell every customer that you talk to for the rest of your life if they got a yes to these four questions. Before we get there, let's talk about absolutely what it's gonna take for you to become this high level salesperson. And before I get into selling consequences, I'm gonna talk about the, the most important skill that you'll ever learn in your life is how to influence. If you don't know how to influence, None of this is going to work. So I want to share this with you that as I go through selling consequences today, it'll probably just 10x your influence game because you'll start to understand the psychology of people, why they buy and why they make decisions. All right, the two motivations, follow me right here. What is a motivation? A motivation is what makes people do something. The two motiva motivations of why people buy are pain and pleasure. Let me explain this to you. Pain and pleasure are the ultimate two buying motives, all right? These two forces, they drive all human behavior. The desire to avoid pain and the desire to gain pleasure, those are the two most important things that all great salespeople will carry. They can push that through to the customer, okay? People will do far more to avoid pain than to get pleasure. These two next sentences, just sum up the life of every customer. If people do not buy, it's because they associate more pain than to not buying. If people do buy, it's because they associate more pleasure than to not buying. And I want to share this with you. As I go through this, if you're like, man, you know, I just don't get this yet. Watch it again. Let me explain this to you. When you want to elevate your game and go to the next level, you have to start to understand this is the psychology of selling. This is a psychology of closing. As an influencer or as a salesperson, you must sell consequences, okay? The two consequences that you're gonna be selling are positive consequences, which if they buy, this will happen, and then negative consequences, if they don't buy, this could happen. I wanna share this with you. These two types of selling are the way that I sold for over 20 years. And that's why whenever I had a customer, I would always push what would benefit them if they did, and then also what would not benefit them if they don't. What would happen? What would be the negative side to it? And then guess what? As you're moving through, and I talked about these last four questions, this will sum up in your head exactly what I mean by selling consequences, okay? All right, the questions in your customer's mind that needs to be answered is this. Can I trust you? Do you really have my best interest in mind or are you just here to make a sell? That is something that your customer's thinking. Can I trust you? Do you really have my best interest in mind or are you here to just make a sell? That's one. Two, what am I buying? What's in it for me and can you prove it? Will it really give me a third? Will it really give me what I want and need? And then a fourth, do I really need it now? Those four questions, if they get answered, I want to share this with you. And there's a yes to every one of those. They will buy from you. This is just the very, I'm going to start talking about in the second part consequence here, how to disrupt people's buying behaviors. How? By selling consequences. I'm gonna tell this with you. This is not a normal uh, sales meeting conversation. Your managers aren't gonna page you in the tower and say, hey guys, today we're training over consequences. That's never gonna happen. 
That's why this is new to you. And as you're learning it, you may think, man, all right, I just don't get it yet. Okay, do me a favor. You may say, man, I get it now. I need to start selling consequences. Awesome. If you don't get it, watch it again. Don't watch the second part until you understand this, the first part. This is going to be something as I get into closing and negotiation as we move into the spring springtime, because obviously we're going to be doing the spring seminar here in April. I'm going to start moving into that zone and getting into my fun and stuff. This right here, this is everything to do with closing and negotiating. It has to do with influencing. It has to do with the, the motivation of why people do stuff. It has to do with when we're closing, are we closing on pain and pleasure, on consequences? And then, like I said, the second part of this is really going to tie it all in and really show you how we're going to sell those consequences. So, guys, I hope you found this video useful. Do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it, and then have a great day.